Hey everyone, welcome back after six years or so to This Week in Web Comics. Uh, today we're doing a special vlog edition with me, your host, Jackson Farrell, to say farewell to Multiplex. I say Multiplex, <laughs> Gordon and other people, Gordon McAlpin, the creator of Multiplex, says Multiplex, um, but I, we're words. Uh, as you can see, this is really well rehearsed. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Uh, that's just the nature of the beast, though. I, I really feel like um, got to give Multiplex a fair, a proper farewell because just it's been such a great comic for the past 12 years of my life and the lives of all the readers who've you know followed along with it. Um, for, so first of all, congrats to Gordon McAlpin. Uh, 12 years at a webcomic and actually finishing it, not just putting it on indefinite hiatus or, you know, it just actually wrapping it up and putting a, a bow on it. That's impressive. Like over the past 12 years, I can't count all the projects I've started and uh, either haphazardly concluded or abandoned. So my gosh, props, dude. Um, and it's it's been a fantastic comic, you know. Like I actually had this dream a couple nights ago where I was crying in the dream over uh, over it ending. I guess I'll do all my crying in my subconscious or something. But uh, there were so many just hilarious moments from the comic. Some of my favorites include the uh, the whole Master Coffee arc that uh, with its dramatic chase conclusion with Kurt yanking the master coffee machine, you know, out of the socket and throwing it down the stairwell with Jason trying to stop him. <laughs> and a, a similar, you know, favorite moment was when uh, Kurt and Franklin had to dispose of a dead computer and decided to pitch it off the roof into the dumpster with Lizzie, Lizzie Stoner just, you know, going off on them. Not about like almost hitting her down by the dumpster, but about the environmental hazards of improperly disposing of computers. And then because they missed the dumpster, Kurt and Franklin drag the computer up to the roof again. Just stuff like that. The little touches, the, the details of the, of, you know, how the story unfolds of each little incident is fantastic. You know, there's all sorts of different story arcs. I love the, the Flickhead Rivalry, the two video game tournaments. I really enjoyed the hand-drawn sequence in the Happy Cart uh, tournament with just the sort of speed racer, I don't want to say parody, what's the word, pastiche, homage kind of thing with the, you know, great fun dynamic artwork um, and sort of hilarious to be representing a video game tournament with that art style. Um, you know, there's... There's some other stuff beyond just the humor, like the the religion and Christianity aspect. You know, you get um, what in the hands of a lesser cartoonist would be some cheap jabs at Christianity with Sonny. But, you know, she turns out to have like, you know, to, to have some merit to her character just as a genuinely nice person, albeit a bit uh, dumb. <laughs> but, you know, then then as kind of a foil, you've got Angie, the Christian goth that, uh, you know, defies those stereotypes in some interesting ways as well. And another one of my favorite moments was when the comic addressed Religious, the movie that, uh, and, you know, Gordon, Gordon McAlpin, an atheist agnostic kind of guy, actually takes Religious to task for not being fair to Christianity. And I think that, uh, you know, the cartoonist and the comics ability to tackle issues that uh, that would be either handled one dimensionally or avoided at all is one of the things I really liked it. You know, it's fundamentally a comic about movies, but movies about, are about humans and human life and religion and what people choose to do with all the different ways that religion expresses itself or doesn't is an important part of human life and you know, an important part of the movies, too just as a reflection of all this stuff. Um, and then there was Jason and Becky's sort of will they, won't they dance of constantly being dating someone else or not interested when the other one is interested. And the way the whole multi, like the, the movie, the zombie movie that the multiplex crew made and how that brought uh, 
ended up bringing Jason and Becky together was uh, just a, a really nice, touching, surprising moment. I was genuinely surprised that it came that early, you know, that that was the catalyst. The uh, <laughs> There's just so many, like, character-driven moments throughout it. It's often humorous, you know, and the, the character-driven humor gets you caring about the characters in their lives. You know, the, the comic in its uh, last handful of years took a more serious turn. Uh, I am deliberately avoiding using the word dramatic because it's, um, it's not just a contrast to the humor. It's this sort of thing that evolved naturally out of the, the way that Multiplex tells stories, you know, and conveys humor about movies, offers commentary on our, our actual world and uh, the role that movies play in it, the movie theater industry, um, just these characters trying to, you know, <laughs> make a buck and at the same time, you know, put up with the, the things they have to do um, at work as, as multiplex employees and, and beyond that to find something that's actually valuable and worth doing. Um, maybe I'm getting too deep here with uh, my multiplex analysis, but um, the fact of the matter is, in a way, multiplex got me into movies. I used to not go to the theater a whole lot often, um, like before 2007 or so when I discovered the comic. I was not a frequent theater goer, and whenever my mom and brother would rent a movie from, <laughs> oh, video stores, goodbye video stores, but, you know, whenever they'd go out and rent a movie from Blockbuster or whatever, I'd be, I'd never be really paying attention to it. I'd be, like, absorbed in some video game on the computer or, you know, noodling around on the internet, but when I got into Multiplex, that changed, that, uh, I started actually getting curious about these movies that the comic was talking about and wanting to understand more of the, the jokes and the commentary it was offering. The, uh, the multiplex forums, while those existed, were uh, sort of a real fun time with a community that could talk about the comics and about movies. And I started going to the theater more often. I started noticing things and analyzing movies in ways that I had, that it hadn't occurred to me to perceive them before. You know, I, I started like writing my own movie reviews and asking myself questions about what makes a good movie, how, what aspects of, of life, of human, human nature and stuff were like best suited to be talked about and reflected in movies. I like <laughs> just all this stuff that, that Multiplex has, you know, been for me. That uh, it's honestly, I've I've kind of in the subsequent years, I kind of haven't gone to the the theater as often. You know, probably less than once a month now these days. Um, whereas back in the day, I was probably finding at least one movie to check out every month that looked worth my time and some of them were, some of them weren't, but you know, the, I guess part of what it comes down to is the multiplex 10 is my favorite movie theater. Like, and I'm shoot, I'm, I'm not going to be able to go to the multiplex 10, except in like the history, the archives. It's, uh, well, you know, that's, that's not entirely true. And let's, let's get to the conclusion of this, uh, this vlog here and something that I really want to share with you guys, because the Multiplex 10 isn't going away. It's just, uh, continuing, hopefully, um, in a new form and whether it continues depends on you, because guess what? Gordon McAlpin's got a Kickstarter for Multiplex 10, the animated series, and we're going to put a link right down there in the description. And maybe we'll get some kind of in-screen or annotation thing going on around my face here. Ooh, look at that hand. There's a hand all over the face. Okay. But uh, yeah, um, check out the Kickstarter. I'm really excited about this. I'd like to see the characters moving around and, um, you know, that as much as I loved the, the final conclusion of Multiplex and where it brought 
its cast in the end. Um, it's also going to be great to hopefully get to go back and see just movie jokes and movie theater jokes. That's going to be a fun time. Um, so make it happen, people. Make it happen. This is your obligation. No. Uh, check out the Kickstarter. Just That's, that's all I'm saying here. Um, check out the Kickstarter. I am very excited about this. You probably are too, and if you're not, what's wrong with you? This is, I'm terrible at convincing people of things, but I'm going to wrap things up here, um, and final word, thank you, Gordon. Thank you, Multiplex. You have been good stuff. Good stuff. Bye, guys.